Second Avenue subway, that project, the never ending project, boy we, oh boy. We've been talking about it because it really has taken um, a hit on, on many small business owners around there. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's tough. It, the, some of those businesses are virtually inaccessible. Um, you know, and some of them have gone out of business. Right now, we're talking about the area on Second Avenue, primarily between, I would say, in the 60s up to the 90s. That they've been hit the worst so far. Uh, south of si the 60s, you're in for a two. It's coming your way. In the meantime, the MTA and the good people at the Manhattan Chamber of Commerce are really trying to help the businesses along that stretch by promoting a very special restaurant week for yes. Second Avenue. Yeah. So we have with us this morning Nancy Ploger. Yes. Uh, from the Manhattan Chamber of Commerce and Josh Liebowitz, owner of Brother Jimmy's Barbecue on Second Avenue. Nice to have you both here. So this is a good way to focus on bringing business back to Second Avenue, right? Correct. Yes. We're really trying to bring more customers not only to the restaurants, but also to the retailers as they walk around before and after dinner and just bring more visibility because we have great stores and great restaurants and we're really trying to get people focused on that. Josh, some of these great stores, great restaurants have taken a hit. It's hard. Where's your business, first of all? On uh, 77th, on 2nd Avenue between 77th and 78th. Give us an idea of how the 2nd Avenue subway construction has impacted you and your business. Well, I mean, over time, it's just uh, there, there's been, there's definitely been a migration of people from the Upper East Side down to other parts of the city, Meatpacking District, Lower East Side, Murray Hill. Uh, so there's just a, there's, there's le less, less people up there dining. So, but do you have any of those big, like, buildings? They look like they were apartment houses in the middle of the no, street. We, 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 we dodged that one. There, there's not, not one of those right in front of our store. The ones that, 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 that had that would you know, certainly be Some suffering. of the businesses on 2nd Avenue, this is what I remember uh, years ago. I mean, it's nice in the summertime. You would be able to sit outside. They had a lot of outdoor seating, but you can't now because you got the big machinery outside. Yes, and some of them are definitely been affected. And like, uh, there's there's one that they they now move their cafe around the corner, so it's on the side street, so that they can still have people sit outside. But and people are just trying to adjust and do the best they can with all the construction and come up with new ways to to garner new customers. All right, Restaurant Week, by the way, 20 restaurants participating. 25. 25. Updated, 20% off on the menu. Is that right, uh, oh, we're Josh? Actually, we're actually doing a different special. We're doing a $20.16 for a, a price fix. And what do I uh, get? One appetizer, one entree, a dessert, and a side. Do I get the ribs at your place? Uh, it's actually the ribs are not part of this. The pulled pork, the fried <laughs> chicken. The, I like the pulled if you, pork. If you come in, we'll get the ribs. Okay, you get yeah. the ribs. So right. the pulled pork's our most popular. What do you guys have for dessert over there, Brother Jimmy's? Uh, pecan pie, key lime pie. Uh, Yummy. Uh, Yum. uh, what's it called? Uh, red velvet mm -hmm. cake. You know, good and old so Southern it's desserts. for the whole week. It's for the whole week. Starts today and runs through Friday. Is yes. it uh, every meal or is it just dinner? It's just dinner. We haven't d done lunch. This is our first time out. We're hoping it's going to be a big success, and ne next time we'll expand to lunch and dinner. All right, and hopefully people will come check out Brother Jimmy's. I know you got locations all over town, but they'll come to that one. They'll like it, and they'll come back <laughs> next week when the prices are slightly higher. <laughs> just, just want just want to drive traffic uptown. Yeah, right. Nancy, Correct. what are you hearing from the business owners along Second Avenue? Well, they're still obviously challenged, and now with a 86th Street um, entrance and exit starting to uh, to uh, be under construction, that's really affected that area as well. So you know, it's it's moving along from 68th at 72nd to 86th to 90s. It's really difficult for those businesses that are behind the construction. But again, that's why we're trying to bring the visibility. And the MTA cap construction has put up signage and kiosks on the corner, and we're doing everything that we can. Shop Second Avenue, running yeah. ads, social media. The MTA is trying to help out. And uh, hey, just think, 40 years from now, we won't have to walk all the way from uh, York Avenue right. to Lexington. If I can still walk in 40 years, <laughs> right. yes. Oh, this thing, this thing is just taking forever. Who knows? Maybe they'll Sucking come Sucking the life out of us, Nancy. It, well, it's, it's, it's a challenge. But everybody's doing be, the best they can. It'll be great once it's done. It, you know, it's, it'll it'll really help rejuvenate that area and really bring a lot of traffic back up there. So. All right. So we, for the short term, we have to be patient. Have to be patient. Exactly. Two hundred thousand riders the day that it opens. And, yeah, and also at the same time, we're going to do as much as we can to to attract customers. New, you know, we we have live music every once in a while. You know, on on Tuesdays and uh, Fridays, we have a uh, little live band. Are you guys the happy ones? Hour special. Do you serve uh, iced tea in those big pitchers? Is that we you do. guys? You do, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we have iced tea and big pictures. We, we serve all of our drinks in, uh, in mason jars. That's, oh, that's you guys. That's very cool. <laughs> Mayor a, is uh, coming after you. Do you, the, do, do you put Coke in those mason jars? No, we don't. No Coke. How about iced tea? We do do iced tea. Make sure it's unsweetened. Sweetened or unsweetened? We have, we have both. I mean, southern sweet tea is kind of a staple. Well, I they're think gonna, They're going to have a hard time getting that off the menu.
<laughs> whatever's in there. I just love drinking out of those jars. Yeah, it's 16 it. ounces too, so I think we're still uh, we're still under. Good under, one, Josh. Un, got under, all the answers, yeah. all the right answers. Uh, Josh, thank you so much from Brother Jimmy's. Nancy, thank you from the Manhattan Chamber of Commerce. Good thank luck you. this week. We'll see you on the on the avenue. Fantastic. We'll oh. be there. Thank